dear viewers and welcome back to the Odoo 18 tutorial series by Cybrosis. Today we are diving into a crucial aspect of financial management which is bill control policy in Odoo 18. This feature helps you maintain control over your expenses and ensure accurate invoicing. So to access the bill control policy setting, navigate to the purchase module and then go to the configuration. So first of all, let's go to the purchase module. And then if you go to the configuration, you have the settings, open that. And then here you have the bill control under the invoicing. So here you have two ways of bill control, which is for ordered quantities and received quantities. This is simply creating bills for products which have chosen received quantity as well as ordered quantity. Okay, so let me show you how this works. For that, we have to go to the products. And I am taking uh, this product, which is Bacon Burger. And here you can see the invoicing policy is in ordered quantity. So that's not what we need. We have to go to the purchase. And here you have vendor bills, which is on received quantity. Okay, this is for received quantity. Uh, let it be there. Okay, so we know Bacon Burger is for received quantity. So next I'm going back to the products and choosing another product. Let it be bagel. And for bagel, uh, we have to go to the vendor bills and choose on delivered quantity. I mean, ordered quantity. Okay. So we've given two products. One is bacon burger, which has been, I mean, which has the control policy received quantities and the product bagel, which has the control policy, which is ordered quantity. Okay, so once I'm done with it, I'm saving it. Okay, now let's go to the RFQ and create one. Okay, so here you have the RFQ clicking on new and I'm going to choose a vendor. Okay, so here let's add a product. First of all, let's check the bacon burger. So here is the bacon burger. I've already chosen it. So you have different variants for it. I'm choosing one and simply confirming it. Okay, so here you have the quantity is one, the unit price is there, everything is there. So once I am confirming the order, you can see it shows received products. So you can only create the creation, bill creation button is not yet active. Okay, so you can only create a bill after receiving the product. Okay, so here you can simply click on receive products. And once you're done with that, you can validate it. And then what happens is that this is validated. It's in done state. Go back to the purchase order and then you can create the bill. So the bill creation is active there. So only after receiving the product here, you can create the bill. So that is the control policy received products. Okay, on received quantities. So yeah, here you have to mention the bill date. So here I'm specifying the date, confirming it. And let's complete the procedure. Okay, so you can pay and confirm it. Create the payment. You can see it's in payment state. So that's how you create a you know RFQ for a product which has the bill control policy on received quantities. Now let me create one for the other one. Okay. So let's choose the vendor, and here I'm choosing the product which is Beagle. Okay. And you all know for this I have specified the ordered quantity. So the quantity here I'm giving it as five. Okay. So five is the quantity I've ordered. I'm just confirming the order. Okay. So after confirming the order, you can see received products here as well. But if you go to, I mean, if you just check the create bill also, that has been active there. But here in the previous case, that was not yet active because only after receiving the products, you can create the bill. So the bill creation is possible over here. Okay. And then you can simply confirm the bill. Okay. Specify the bill date. And then confirm the bill. So it's possible to, you know, create the bill once you've ordered the product. So it's it's possible before even receiving the product, you can, you know, add it, add the bill, create the bill. So the payment is also done. If you go back, you can receive the product and complete the procedure. Okay, you can now validate the product and everything is done. So that's basically how you deal with two control policy. Now, what happens if we add two products in the same RFQ? So I'm going to create a new one with a vendor and two products. So let it be 
Beagle, five products and next product I'm adding is Beacon Burger, two and confirming it. Okay, so let's confirm the order right now. And here you can see create bill is possible. Let's just click on create bill. As you can see, only bagel is here. You all know bagel has the control policy ordered quantity. So the priority which Odoo gives for the bill control policy is in such a way that ordered, ordered quantities or the ordered, you know, yeah, for the ordered quantities has the highest priority. That's the reason why we are able to you know, create bill for bagel and not for bacon burger. Bacon burger is in the control policy for received quantities. So the products are not yet received and that's the reason why we can't create a bill for that. So here only bagel is there. I'm just confirming it. Okay, specify the bill date and confirm it. So this has been confirmed. After that, you can simply pay that. I mean, complete the payment. Okay, now that's all about the what the bacon I mean the bagel now after you receive product the create will just take a look at the create bill it's not yet active okay going to receive products just validating it okay so that's in done state right now going back here you can see create bill is active right now so if you click on create bill it is a bill for bacon burger that is once you receive the product you are able to create bill for the product with control policy received quantities. So this is also created. I'm confirming it. Don't forget to provide the bill date every time. Okay. Yeah, then confirm it. See, it's that simple. You can continue with the payment and create the payment. So obviously the priority, uh, like if you check the priority of the control policies, ordered quantities has the highest priority and then comes the received uh, received you know quantities because only after receiving the product you are able to create the bill that's it and once you're done that's it so this is how you basically deal with the uh you know bill control policy so by effectively utilizing the bill control policy in odoo 18 you can strengthen your financial management and protect your organization's assets so thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more odoo tutorials